lot of them told me they had results. Like one of them said, Saraya, I only used to charge at the most $20 per hour with the offer that she had, which I think is also copywriting. But now I was able to close my first premium client at Welcome to Peaceabilities here in CBRC.TV. I'm your host, Arman Benko of the Kolaiko Foundation and KSK SMP Co-op. Magandang araw! Stay at home but uh, we still need to earn, generate income. How and where do we start? To guide us first and foremost, we have in the show, surely staying at home also, huh? a sales and mindset coach for online freelancers, a full-time homeschooling mom of two boys, and a businesswoman. She transitioned from a being a traditional business owner to an online freelancer during the pandemic last year. She founded Seduction Marketing and is now helping thousands of freelancers get their ideal clients at ideal rates. Ah, yun na importante. Meron siya mga courses and coaching programs combining her experiences in relationship coaching, sales, and marketing. She also founded the group Freelancing and the Art of Seduction, which now has almost 4,000 members, including myself. Uh, she gives free lessons inside the group on prospecting, client getting, mindset, and marketing. What makes her unique from other coaches is her use of the art and psychology of seduction. So, gusto ko yung salita na yun. As a way to humanize the prospecting process, build relationships, and get the client's trust. Close deals without sounding pushy o masyadong salesman ang dating and spammy. Uh, yun yung term niya. Aside from her online course, Art of Seduction Mastery or Marketing Mastery, she also has courses about client getting. Nandun yan sa skills.com. Ito yung parang Netflix type of platform for freelancers. And Amazon Nation PH, which has helped thousands of freelancers in different fields approach prospecting naturally and effectively. Her mentees are now able to enjoy their ideal income huh? through freelancing without the stress, anxiety, and heartache usually associated with prospecting and dealing with clients. Her vision is to level up free Filipino freelancers so they can get premium rates through the offers they are aligned with and thrive in freelancing and live a lifestyle they love. A sales and mindset coach, an online freelancer, let us bring in Saria Guanzon Ordinario. Saria? Hi, Sir Armand, and hi to your viewers. Good evening. To answer your question, so sino ba si Saraya? Ano ba yung seduction marketing? Blah, blah, blah. So later na siguro yung what is seduction marketing. Pero sino nga ba ako, right? So, um, uh, like you mentioned, I was a former businesswoman. Um, I also used to work online prior to being a businesswoman. So, um, parang when I graduated from college, I worked in a corporate job as well. Then I realized that I was not an parang I was looking I was looking for something else. Tapos, I tried network marketing, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos, I tried online jobs. So when I got married and had kids, I realized I didn't want to live my life um, away from my kids on a 9-to-5 job. Not only 9-to-5 because factor in the 2-hour, 3-hour, 4-hour traffic, right? Yeah, um, yeah. And you know, parang the, the, getting getting the best of my energy and pag-uwe, parang what's left of you na lang for the kids. So I really had um, this set this intention na I want to be present for my kids. So it was not really for the money, but it was for the time and uh, the time freedom. So 
I uh, transitioned to uh, online jobs in 2009. Back then, wala pa yung mga online job sites. Ang meron lang nun, Craigslist. Ganun ng kajurasi. Like <laughs> yung time ko. And there was no such thing as freelancing. I didn't know the term freelancing. All I knew was online jobs. When you type online jobs, it was VA, data encoder, transcription. Yeah. All those yeah. jobs that would pay like $2, $3 an hour, which is very small. But I took that, no, bilang bago pa lang ako. And then um, after that, nag-start na uli ako magnegosyo kasi sabi ko parang ang liit ng kita sa online jobs eh. So, nagnegosyo kami ng husband ko and then um, doon ako nahasa sa marketing kasi my family is also a family of entrepreneurs. Pero may pagka-stubborn ako na I want to start something on my own. So, my mom has a garments business. I took up clothing technology in college in UP Diliman. Um, that's all about fashion garments. Pero for some reason, it was not really my passion. Like I love clothes, but I don't like making, producing, and selling it. So <laughs> then, I realized na it's not naman na siguro masama if I veer to my own path. So we put up our own business, which is parang a distribution business of frozen goods. Um, then it went well. Like uh, we parang napa ano namin siya sa online, like uh, through Facebook. Now it's like a nationwide brand already. And uh, dun ako nahasa sa Facebook ads, sa uh, marketing ganyan. And then um, the pandemic hit. So it went well yes. for years. So talagang it gave us a comfortable life. Nakabili kami ng mga vehicles and stuff. Parang sabi ko nga, parang mas okay pa nga ito kaysa dun sa networking. Sa networking, na-hype lang ako. Pero... Saka, nung nag-pandemic na yan, nung nag-pumasok na yung pandemic? Um, prior to the pandemic. Oh, prior, prior, prior. prior. Yes, yes. But, yung, hindi ko dinidiscount yung ano eh, yung mga natutunan ko din sa networking kasi nagamit ko din siya. So, this business, which really gave us a good uh, income, suddenly had to shut down during the pandemic because it was related to food. So, alam naman natin how hard hit the food industry as well as a lot of other sectors was during the pandemic, the, the, the onset of the lockdowns last year. So, I remember that was March. Um, and then, luckily, I was parang still in that parang uh, community of freelancers. Doon ako nag-transition. So, sabi ko, I need another stream of income kasi mauubos ang savings and if I just rely on the business, wala mangyayari. So, I wanted to look for another stream of income. That's why I studied um, online freelancing again and digital marketing. But this time, not as a side gig, not as like just an online job that pays you $2, $3, $4 an hour, but a kind of freelancing career that can give you $2,000, $4,000, $10,000 a month. So in pesos, that would be somewhere around 50K to 500K a month. So, yun yung possibilities um, in freelancing na tinaral ko. But of course, with specialized skills. Now, wh- when I was learning that particular skill, copywriting to be exact, so I took courses, I enrolled with a mentorship program with money that I did not have. Parang tiwala na lang na I know mag aaroay ako dito bilang negosyante at risk taker. So, pandemic kasi, so parang paubos na rin savings ko. Sabi ko, I'll bet my last money on this copywriting course, mentor. And then yun, parang um, nakita ko kasi na it has the potential to get, to give me like $4,000, $5,000 a month, which is good na and good enough na for me. But, what I realized, there were more problems than that. Nung una, tinignan mo lang to as a, another stream of income. Yes. Another source of income. Uh-huh. Till nakita mo yung potential or talagang nag-set ka ng target. Uh, significant uh, source of income na. Mm-hmm. Pero uh, up to now, kasi ako ay a believer of that, multiple streams of income. Uh, kaya na-pick up ko kagad yung uh, keywords from you. Another stream of income. Uh, which I think yun na rin ang nag-develop sa'yo uh, after all these months, no? Hindi lang yan freelancing. Uh, like yung pagtuturo, pag-coaching that uh, ako mag enroll di ba? Ako, ako uh, <laughs> oh, sa, ma, sa mundo sir, ng disabilities, you. isa kami sa mga unang uh, nag-enroll, mag-enroll uh, dyan. Pero, eto, believer ka pa rin yan, yung, uh, another stream of income. Of course, sir, of course. Multiple, not just another, but multiple, especially now during the pandemic na even you know 
establishments like Starbucks, Jollibee, like big corporations, they're really hit by it. Lalo na yung mga empleyado nila. Kung empleyado ka nila, mas kawawa ka, right? So, I'm really a big believer of having multiple, not just one, not just two, but multiple sources of income. And that is also one of my advocacies why I am doing this. Uh, yun, I, I found my parang passion na I, I love to write and I love words and I love sell, uh, not the selling, but you know, parang marketing and all that. Tapos, nagamit ko siya sa copywriting. So, I was able to actually get uh, my first premium clients. When I say premium, this is around uh, $1,000 to $2,500. Wow. So, mga $50,000 to $75,000 per client yeah, without wow. experience. I didn't have any previous experience. Ang baon ko lang is yung seduction marketing, which I developed. It's a framework I developed, which I will discuss later. So, kayang kaya, I proved na kaya mong kumuha ng kliyente kahit saan. Basta any, any client getting um, a business or career, kaya mo even without experience. Hindi mo kailangan expert ka na or whatever. Kasi ako, estudyante pa lang ako nun sa copywriting. So anyways, it opened up to a new problem. In my community, in that group that I belong to of freelancers, I was seeing these posts na I've had like 5,000 attempts at connections. Only 100 people added me. Kasi usually sa LinkedIn, magko-connect ka. 100 lang daw nag-add sa kanya. Out of the 100, 10 lang ang pumayag to hop on a call with, with that freelancer. And out of the 10, 0 ang na-close yung deal. And it broke my heart. And I said, um, there, parang ako, out of the five that I reached out and reached out to me, all of them said yes. Hindi sa pagmamayabang, but wala ko experience. But um, there is something that I'm doing that can make clients say yes, even if wala ko experience. And at that time, um, a group of freelancers reached out to me and asked me, can you give us a webinar about building relationships with clients? Kasi, they knew, hindi ko pala ito nabanggit, I used to be a relationship coach. It was it was a short stint uh, before the pandemic. It was one of my multiple streams of income. So while doing the business, I was also, um, para I tried lang becoming a relationship coach. So it was an American company. I got hired, they sent me calls. Tapos I would help people with their relationship problems. And mostly, it boiled down to communication, you know, parang finding yeah. out yeah. ano yung needs and stuff like that. Now, that's what I do in seduction marketing. Parang bin- binridge ko siya, kinumbine ko siya with my marketing skills. So, I gave this webinar to this group of freelancers. Na, um, the title was How to Attract Clients Effortlessly Without Heartache and Stress Using the Seduction uh, Framework. And then surprisingly, after the web- webinar, that was just a group of 30 people. A lot of them told me they had results. Like, one of them said, Saraya, I only used to charge at the most $20 per hour with the offer that she had, which I think is also copywriting. But now, I was able to close my first premium client at $3,000. So, Armand, that's 150,000 peso contract, right? And I was so shocked because I was only doing it for myself, right? And I I wasn't an official coach then, wala akong course. I just shared what I knew to a small group of people. And then a lot of them messaged me na hindi man ganun kalaki, but they were actually able to get replies when that is seen zoned lang sila ng prospects nila when they would outreach. So it became another invitation to a bigger group of 2,000 people, 2,000 freelancers, and then people were starting to message me. And then ako, I was working as an email marketer for a digital marketing agency back then. Hindi ko pa to ginagawa full time. I also had, yun nga, mga premium clients ko. I had three clients um, serving them with email marketing. And I was good. Like, I can earn an easy $3,000 a month na from that. And I'm good. All these people messaging me, Saraya, pa help naman. Kasi ilang months, ilang years na ako nag-freelance. Pero hirap na hirap ako sa clients. I'm so I'm so stressed out. I wanna give up. So I had to make time to coach these people. And you know, parang just seeing the same results na nawala yung anxiety, nagka-confidence, nakakabook ng clients with ease. Those transformations now pag share nila, lalong dumami yung lumapit sa akin for help. So I had a difficult decision to make. I was not a certified coach. I don't know anything about course creation, but here is the problem. 
and here is the opportunity for me. All I know is for business people, they always see problems as opportunities, right? Yeah, so yeah. for me that time, I, <laughs> yeah, I didn't see it as money. Because I didn't know how I would earn from it. I just knew people needed my help. I had something that they needed. So I made a difficult decision. I talked to my manager, to my manager sa digital marketing agency. I told him, uh, you can always hire a better email marketer than me. But for these people, for my fellow Filipinos, I think um, at this point, ako, yung, ako lang yung makakatulong sa kanila with their problem. 